Hello and welcome to the Smith's Hire Preview Show. I'm Jed Mills and here's what's coming up on today's episode. We'll look ahead to Saturday's match here at Bloomfield Road as the Seasiders host high-flying Bournemouth. We'll hear from Jordan Thornley on being back at Blackpool after a successful loan at Oxford United. Neil Critchley shares his thoughts on this weekend's match against the Cherries. Plus CJ Hamilton discusses his goal scoring return to action in last weekend's victory over Bristol City. Well, I'm pleased to welcome back onto the preview show this week, Blackpool's Australian international midfielder, Kenny Dougal. Kenny, thanks very much for joining us. Nice that, isn't it? Australian international. Yeah, it's a, it's a, nice, a nice introduction. A nice little yeah. intro, but uh, um, yeah, is it always no, nice to be, be away and obviously different scenery and obviously being back sort of in the homeland, really? Yeah, obviously it's, it's always good getting away representing the country. Um, it's something I've done four times now, so I'm very proud of that. Hopefully I can add to that and, you know, it's always nice being at Blackpool as well. You know, great, great group of lads here. So, you know, it's enjoyable on both parts. Weather's different, of course, but uh, but like yeah, I say, but it's, uh, it's I suppose is a uh, Gold Coast as sometimes they call it here at Blackpool, but maybe a little bit different. But let's go back to first of all, uh, Bristol City. Couple of assists for yourself, um, and seem to be really getting a bit of momentum at the moment. And again, um, a fantastic start of the year for Blackpool at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Look, that's three wins and two draws um, in the league for us at, since uh, since the turn of the year. So, you know, lads are confident, lads are happy. And, you know, Bristol City was, was a great team performance. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe that's because we, we were set up well and, and we played well and um, credit to us. Um, you know, you, they're still there to be beat, whether they whether they poor or, or turn up on the day. So, you know, um, it's three points and, you know, it's it's we're on the right direction. Yeah, give you a lot of confidence going into that Coventry game, which is a tough game. They, they've surprised me, Coventry. I thought they were very good here at Bloomfield Road. And again, the way that Mark Robbins sets them up, they, they seem a tough outfit to play. Yeah, I mean, they are. They are. They, they, they pass the ball a lot. And the system they use some, can sometimes cause you a lot of trouble, um, especially against our system. It, it can cause a little trouble with the bodies they put in the middle. Um, but, you know, I thought we did quite well. Um, yeah, we, we had we had tough times during the match, but especially in the second half, I, I don't think they got near the goal until mm. you know last frantic couple of minutes. Um, so you know, credit to us, we we uh, sn uh, sniffed out their problems and, and sorted it out. Um, but yeah, they're a good team. You know, they I think equal points with us. Obviously, they've played mm. a couple less games, but you know, they've shown like we have that they can beat anyone in this division and and be competitive and you know not to harp on about about them too much it's all about us and you know we've shown that we can we can beat anyone we can match it with the big boys so you know that's hats off to us as well yeah absolutely especially uh, that result against Fulham and um, you say maybe Blapple a little bit understated sometimes in this division but do you prefer that as well that you know sometimes people maybe take it not too yeah seriously? I mean maybe I mean we're definitely um understated underrated mm. I think um maybe it's the fact that we have no egos in our team or maybe our style of play. Um, however, we're, we're all confident boys. We know what we can do. Um, we know that we can beat anyone. So, you know, that gives us confidence every time we step on the pitch that we can get, you know, minimum one points, but we're looking for three every time. Mm. And what about you in midfield? You've obviously been a mainstay this season, um, but been lots of change just due to injuries and stuff. But like I say anyone that seems to be dropping in, it's been, been great. Yeah, I know. look, that, that's what's happened this yeah. year. You know, we've had a lot of injuries. We've had, obviously, COVID still about, um, you know, so I seem to be the lucky one that, that keeps, um, you know, injury-free, touch wood, and, and manages to avoid COVID. So, you know, I've been a mainstay, and whoever's come in has not looked like they've, they've missed a beat. You know, mm -hmm. they, they know the role. They, they know the system, which is a, not only credit to them, but obviously the the coaching staff and the rest of the group that sort of everyone's bought into the philosophy and uh, that's really helped us throughout the season. Is that one thing that's sort of worked on heavily in training just if you are in that sort of central midfield or you can play in there that there is a way to play so as you say if one drops in say you need that rest that week someone can come in it's no problem you can drop in no, you know it, it it seems to be just this everyone knows what they're doing. Yeah I mean that's the that's, that's the the characters, the personnel that we've brought in, um, you know, to the to the football club is all. It's all about that. It's all about adjusting to to things that happen, and you know, every player knows their role. Um, you know, it's a training. Sometimes it can it can be a bit boring, it can be a bit repetitive, mm. but you know, it's it's vital that whoever steps in on the day can 
can perform um, equally as good as, as the next guy if, if he has to play his role. So, you know, um, credit to the coach and staff there. Yeah, and there's uh, more players coming back. Like I said, Kevin Stewart coming back as well. An- another one to add to the mix and uh, maybe another person to, to play alongside as well. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's, it's good to have more yeah. bodies and, and a player like uh, Kevin obviously has a lot of quality and, you know, he's a welcome addition, obviously. Um, he's had a frustrating, you know, six months of the season so far, um, on and off with niggling injuries. But hopefully that's him back now and, and he can, you know, push on for the rest of the season and, and help us get to where we want to be. I remember, was it last season that, obviously we talk about the playoff final goals, you know, that little <laughs> brilliant memory. <laughs> And it was the manager saying, you know, maybe just be careful shooting too far away. And then obviously you kind of proved him wrong a little bit. But um, this season, it, 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 again, it's just maybe trying to get some more goals in your game. Or is it a case of, I mean, the assists are great. But is that kind of the plan now? Or are you being told, just just hold off? Uh, it's nothing we sort of really talk about. Obviously, yeah. we, have, we have a system, we have a structure that we play. Um, but like in the playoff final, sometimes... The ball just drops to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it, it is one of them. Yeah. Um, you know, you could be standing there all season and the ball never comes mm-hmm. and then it comes twice in five minutes. So <laughs> um, It's not something we've talked about. It's not something we've worked on. It's just, obviously, I would like to add some goals for myself, just personally and for the team. It, it helps if you can um, get goals from anywhere. Um, so, you know, it, was, it is something we'll look at and if it's something we can... Get, get better and obviously like, anyone wants to score goals and I'm no different but like I say the assists are they you know as much as a excitement as goals for you um, well yeah obviously yeah the, the, it's a goal for the team so that's that helps um, you know I'm not someone who sort of looks at looks at the stat sheet looks at personal accolades so you know for me it's not that important really as long as I'm doing my role which at times is contributing with goals mm. or assists so um you know, I, I leave that more to the front players, and and they can they they can entertain the crowd, which you know they have been recently, which is fantastic. Yeah, it has been great. I, I know we talked very early on in the season, and um, what about the championship? As in just being in midfield? I mean, full backs, wing backs would probably argue they they've got the toughest position running up and down. You'll argue centre midfield, that box to box. But what about running stats and stuff? Is it more difficult in the championship? Do you feel yourself working harder than maybe it was in the League One? Um, I'm not sure physically if it's more difficult. Um, mentally, definitely it is because if you switch off for half a second, they can get in. Um, mm. And obviously teams, the higher you go, whether yeah. it's championship, League One, Premier League, Champions League, whatever you want. Um, if you switch off, the more the higher you go up, the more quality they have, they'll punish you. So. You know, mentally it is it is more challenging. I think you have to stay focused for 90 minutes. You know, at times in last season we could sort of cruise through games. Um, mm. But I think the way we play, um, our style of play, it, it doesn't really change physically. Um, whether we're in League Two or, or the Premier League, you know, it's going to be tough. Um, but yeah, we've 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 coped um, superbly so far, and you know, we're we're more than home in the Championship, and you know, that's proven with both performances and results this season. Yeah, fans certainly uh, excited at home and away as well. I mean, that support against Coventry, again, the goals go in and they just don't stop, do they? <laughs> yeah, look, um, it comes up every now and then it, it, uh, in the group, you know, the fans, they're, they're the best in the league. Mm. You know, they're, they're so loud. They're, wherever we go, they come in numbers. So, you know, credit to them. It's a midweek game in Coventry, you know, miles away and they've turned up in numbers and, and sung all night. So. You know, keep, keep it coming for the, what is it, 16 games left? Yeah, no, it's been brilliant. And I just want to go back to that point you say about mentally. I think some, you know, fans, and it's easy for us, you know, me sat on my armchair, you know, eating a couple of chocolate bars and a, and a cup of tea saying, you know, come on, you got to, why aren't you running more? It's just got to run, just put the effort in. But like you say about the mentally, um, how, how draining is, is that? So like you say, from sort of minute one to, to now, you cannot switch off. And then after a game, do you, do you feel sort of like sort of mentally drained that that's when you, sometimes you just need that time out just to recharge? Yeah, I guess so. That's what the off season's for, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, some as a one of ninety minutes, it's it's fine. Mm. Anyone can do it. Um, it's just when you have to do Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah. Sometimes it can be, you know, mentally tough, physically tough, and there's enough boys in the squad that are, that have done it. Um, 
for long enough that we can, you know, get together and, and we know what to do basically. So um, at times, yeah, it is, it is tough. And, you know, as an armchair you know, fan looking out there, <laughs> you think, you know, that's, that's easy. All you have to do is run around and, and score a few goals. But, you know, especially this time and during the winter, you know, some of the pitches are, are terrible. Um, so that adds another challenge. But, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's all about going out there and performing the best you can. Um, and, and effort's always there for, for us and, and this group that's never been challenged. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, continue to do that.